Mount Everest right there. beaches of Lahaina Beach in Maui, Hawaii, and this is July the 2nd, 2010. This is my sweetheart, Bethany's birth birthday. This is the Molokini Crater, created by the meteorite. This crater was made by a meteorite many years ago, and uh, half of the uh, meteorite circle impact dissolved, and the other half stayed. All right, here's the red fort in Agra. It's a little bit bigger than the one in Delhi. Actually, from ah. the wall side. From the wall you can side. You see the pillars all in a line. Yeah, from the wall side. Yes. Okay, I'm standing at the Taj Mahal in Agra, North India, in Uttar Pradesh, and so we're enjoying our time. Uh, Beth and I, it's our first time to visit the Taj Mahal, and it's our romantic date getaway. And so come on along with our trip, and let's take a look. The Grand Canyon is very vast and large and very beautiful. Lake Erie into Lake Ontario and the falls here is about halfway down that river as it 
forms the border between USA and Canada. And so that's why there's so much water that's continually flowing tons and tons of water over the falls because it's coming from one lake emptying into another lake. And so behind me what you see is the American side of the falls. We can say that we took a shower today in the Niagara Falls giving us a shower. Ah. Oh. oh my land. I just got wet. Oh my land. It's beautiful with downtown Sydney right behind you. I see some jellyfish. You see jellyfish? Just the small ones. Alright, well, we're down under. We're here at the Great Barrier Reef here in Australia. And we got our first taste of what it's like to see some coral. And Okay, we made it here to Hillsong Church in Sydney, Australia. This is in the Hills District. And this is where the church first started over 25 years ago.
here we are in Alaska, me and my sweetheart. Now, this is probably about the furthest north we're going to go, like you said before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're about one hour north of Fairbanks. And we're close to the Arctic Circle, but not quite. Yeah. All right. Hey, honey. We're here in Denali. Mm-hmm. We're going to be checking out some wildlife and nature. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bear in the forest. Okay, so I'm standing next to the Exit Glacier here near the Resurrection Mountain and uh, we're near Seward, Alaska and uh, this glacier has been slowly receding through the years. We walked up this trail to this spot and along the trail there were markers that said, you know, this is where the glacier had come in 1957. Uh, 1899 the glacier had been that far back and it's been receding year by year up until that point right there receding up the mountain and so uh, 
that's global warming for you that uh, the glaciers are melting. They say 200 years ago when uh, Mr. Vancouver, uh, George Vancouver, uh, first sailed up this bay, uh, the glacier was right about at this point. Uh, they just made the announcement that, that when Mr. George Vancouver came, uh, the glacier was here and now 200 years later, the glacier has melted and moved up that way. So we're on our way to see where the glacier has receded to now. Okay, I've made it as close as I can get to the Mendenhall Glacier and right next to me is called the Nugget Falls. So it, it took about 20 minutes for me to walk from the visitor center up to the falls here along the bear trail and now I've got to walk back. Russia had used this as a territory, but not very much through the years. So uh, Russia got in debt uh, during the 1850s, 1860s, and uh, they sold Alaska to the United States of America for about seven and a half million dollars. Very quickly, the United States used this territory to make quite a profit off of uh, the skins of animals. Uh, animal skins and furs and then later the gold and then finally the oil that was discovered here for the great trans-Alaskan pipeline that goes through here okay I'm standing right now next to the great Alaskan pipeline and this is an oil pop pipeline that it starts way on the very north of Alaska that way and it moves all the way down south towards Anchorage and Seward and, and uh, the south of Alaska towards the ocean. So we're just a little bit north of Fairbanks, Alaska right now and this is a great section of the Great Alaskan Pipeline. Now they say that uh, over 800 billion tons of oil flow through this pipeline every year. This this is where uh, Abraham Lincoln got off the train at this very station on November 18th, 1863. And he stayed at the Willis home and prepared his famous Gettysburg Address. And so this is the train station that he got off and he was greeted by Mr. Willis. Okay, we're standing here at the side of where the uh, Gettysburg battle was begun here in the Civil War. July the 1st, 1863, the Confederate Army held this ground and the Union soldiers came from that direction so the first the first uh, shots were fired from beyond those uh, Appalachian Hills over there to my backwards there 
So this is, okay, we're standing here on uh, the Rocky Hill. This is uh, Death Valley here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And so on July the 2nd in 1863, the battle commenced on this hill. The, the Union soldiers held the high ground here and the Confederates were coming up from the flanks over here on the bottom of the valley. And General Lee commanded the Confederates to go charge this hill. The Union soldiers under command of General Meade defended this hill. Uh, the 20th Maine was the main force here defending the hill here. And honey, who's the, the leader of that 20th Maine? Joshua Chamberlain. Chamberlain. So Joshua Chamberlain led the 20th Maine and they have a monument just to the side here and they held the high ground the the 20th maine and all the northern soldiers from the union army now where are we going gramps right around the corner is lionel haven okay we're going in between the islands Tell uncle vic used to live just just past that that uh, brown house on the other side i see it over there where the gray houses are and that white shack, that's where Uncle Vic used to live. I see it. What about the different types of lobsters? You have main lobster and uh -huh. then bad lobster. Yeah? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> There's lobster only two types of lobster. Inland okay. and outland. Right, Grams? Graham says inland and outland, but I say main lobster and bad lobster. <laughs> We're climbing to the top of Mount Cadillac. Okay, we are now reaching the southernmost part of the United States, southernmost point. This buoy marks the southernmost point of the USA. Okay, now we're here at Mount Vernon. This is George Washington's home in Virginia, right off the Potomac River, south of Washington, D.C. We went inside and we checked it out. We're standing at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., and this is 2007. Lincoln is the greatest example of a U.S. president. He's a great example of leadership for all of us. Okay, this is White House correspondent Doug Pearson reporting in the home of George W. Bush, who is now signing a bill into law, a bill that will require all Americans to give $1,000 a year to missions. That's right, $1,000 a year uh, split between Central Asia and India. Now, Americans will have a choice. They will have a choice. They will. Now, this bill is a, expected to pass Congress since it's a Republican Congress, and uh, the uh, the majority leader in Congress right now is uh, Bill Frist. He's a born again Christian who works with uh, Samaritan's Purse, Franklin Graham's ministry, and is a doctor and goes and does missions in Africa in the Sudan, and so. They might get a little bit of money from Pastor Shabelli in Africa, but it's mostly going to Central Asia and India. And Uzbekistan, watch out, you're gonna get some support because we love you here in America. We love Uzbekistan. Okay, Joseph. I don't know what to say. These news are shocking to me. Like I never I never even expected to be so loved and so appreciated here in this country. That's awesome. 